Sparka. Okay, I'll play a game against Sparka. And let's say hello. Onagai Shimas, and I am Sente. I'm going to do a static rick uh, opening this time. Maybe a Yagura. Let's go ahead and see how a spark intends to defend. Yeah, moves the bishop. So gold here. Bishop here. Now Silver up, bishop back, silver here would be a way to get to a Yagura. And looks like he's going for some kind of quick attack with his silver. Let's see what he does. Yes, he does. So maybe I will bring some more pieces over first. Okay, can't move the bishop here because... Uh, can't move the silver here because the bishop is guarding it. So step up with the gold. Now I have to move a pawn forward. Okay, now I'm going to do that rearrangement we talked about. I move the uh, bishop back and move the silver up. That's interesting. I don't get this. Okay, I can wait for him to take here, or I can take and drop a pawn. Ah, if I take and drop a pawn, then he'll push here. So I should wait for him to take and then take back. I'm going to move this pawn forward so my bishop can come out and attack his rook. I'm going to take with the gold because the um, silver, the silver does not have many squares to go to. Rook there. So now I can drop, oh, I don't have a bishop in hand. <laughs> I can bring the bishop out to attack his uh, lance. Yeah, he's thinking of moving the silver here or dropping a pawn here. Oh, he takes there first. So at that point, I have to take here. Then he, then he drops the silver there. Interesting. I will take. Now he's got a silver drop here, or a, um, oh, that's covered, covered by my rook. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take his lance. And then uh, I can drop a pawn here. Or a, um, I can drop a pawn or I can drop a um, lance, what's better? If I drop a pawn, he'll take it with the horse, and then I drop a lance, maybe. It's possible for him to take it with a horse, anyway. Oh, if he takes it with the horse. So he takes there. That's interesting. I can take back, or I can take the uh, knight. I mean, take the rook and promote. What's he going to do? Is he going to mate me? I can drop a gold here. I can take. Or 
I can run. I'm going to take uh, M. Ah, so yeah, he's trying to mate me. <laughs> Let's do something to him too. I can do this because it's with check. He runs with the king. Oh. Okay, I could drop a bishop here. Or here. Keep him from getting away. Yeah, if he ran this way, I could drop a rook and that would be mate. So he ran that way. So now it's pretty close to mate, but he does have this square covered twice with the silver and the gold. So I'd have to check from a square like this, which is not covered. But if the king takes, then I drop a gold here, right? I drop a gold here, he has to take, and then I drop a rook and that's mate. Is that really true? Now, I drop a rook, it's not mate. I drop a gold, he takes, I drop a rook. It is, he just goes back here. Then I drop a silver, he takes, I take, gold takes. It's close to mate. I drop a gold, he takes, and then I drop a rook. Where's the bishop? The bishop is not on the right diagonal. <clears throat> I could drop a silver first too. Drop a silver, he takes. Drop a rook he takes, then drop a gold. Yeah, that's it. Work the other way too. And that was pretty nice. A nice little Tsume problem. So, got a, got a second win. That was nice. <laughs>